works as an Uber driver. He recently experienced a very mild ischemic stroke which affected the right side of his brain. As a result, he presents with left-sided hemiplegia. Due to his left-sided weakness, he has difficulty grasping and moving with his left arm, which can affect his ability to perform ADLs efficiently. is going to use the Bartel Index to assess the patient's ability to perform ADLs. The assessment can be conducted orally in the form of an interview, or the therapist can directly observe the patient while he performs each ADL. In the following session, the therapist is going to directly observe the patient as he performs his ADLs, making note of any difficulties or anything that presents as a problem. The patient is performing the ADL of self-feeding. The patient is assessed in his ability to use his hands for finger foods. The patient has some difficulty grasping the food as he fumbles and drops it a couple of times. The patient's range of motion of the affected arm is limited as he cannot bring his hand all the way to his mouth. He compensates by lowering his head and using his unaffected arm to guide the affected arm. Overall, the patient is able to get food into the mouth, increasing grip strength and shoulder range of motion of the affected upper extremity may be beneficial. The patient is now performing upper body dressing while sitting on the toilet. He is asked to dump and doff a pullover sweater. The patient seems to be efficient in donning the pullover as well as doffing without struggling. Further observation, which is not video documented, shows that the patient has problems with manipulating buttons on shirts. Bilateral upper extremity coordination along with grip and finger manipulation of the affected hand may need to be addressed. Here the patient is performing the ADL of self-grooming which includes brushing the teeth and shaving the face. The patient is fairly efficient as he guides his affected arm with his unaffected arm. <laughs>